If you are a supply manager and you have product manufactured for you, you have the choice to order them in a low-cost country or from a more expensive local supplier. Generally, the local supplier can deliver the product quicker. So, if there is a sudden spike in demand, your lead time is short and you have to order your product locally at a higher price. Assistant Professor Ashok Bikash of Rotterdam School of Management, Erasmus University, has discovered that this demand uncertainty often causes supply managers to follow the wrong strategy. He has developed a tool that lets you calculate which price premium is justified if you want a shorter lead time. So, when to order far away and when to order locally. Managing a football club is a very challenging task. But the good thing, die-hard fans are always ready to buy the products uh, to support their teams. Now we are at the Excelsior Rotterdam and the store managers here or in any other football club uh, procure the products either from a low-cost country or from a local supplier at a high cost. So if they procure them from a low-cost country, then they have to place the procurement orders uh, long before. But if they uh, buy the products from a local supplier, then they can do this on a short notice. In our research, we analyzed the demand patterns for some teams around the world. In general, demand patterns can be decomposed into three groups. One is the regular sales, the other one is the positive spikes that occur after a success, and the last one is the negative shocks occurring after a failure. In general, big teams have regular sales or negative shocks because their funds have high expectations and they stop purchasing the products after a failure. But for small teams, they have regular sales or positive spikes because their fans don't have high expectations, but they award their teams after a success by buying the uh, club products. So what are the implications of these observations for operations management? In general, ignoring the gym demand jumps uh, causes some mistakes in assessment of the sourcing alternatives. For uh, small teams, they usually understate the value of local sourcing. But for big teams, they overstate the value of local sourcing. So to help the decision makers, we develop a tool that uh, shows how much cost premium the football teams are willing to pay to switch from a low cost far away supplier to a local expensive supplier. In this tool, you need to enter the cost parameters and demand parameters. Just assume that the price of a jersey is equal to 30% and the unit cost is equal to 12% and the salvage value, which is the residual value for unsold uh, jersey, is equal to 10 uh, euros per unit. So we also assume a low uh, demand uh, volatility, which is equal to 15%. And uh, we also assume that jumps occur 20% of the time. And uh, we assume a positive jump uh, with a magnitude of 5%. And uh, we also assume that uh, the volatility of the jumps uh, is uh, relatively low, which is equal to 10%. And then we have two different curves. The first one is the uh, red uh, solid curve that shows uh, the uh, cost premium when we switch from a uh, low cost far away supplier to a local supplier. But if we ignore uh, the jumps, then we may end up with this green dotted curve. So assume that uh, for the uh, low cost supplier, we have a long lead time. And when we switch from the low cost supplier to a local supplier, then the lead time could be negligible. So in that case, we end up with a zero lead time. So in such a case, a 5% cost premium is enough to convince the decision maker uh, to switch from a low cost far away supplier to a local supplier. But uh, here we gave an example for the jersey, but uh, you can use this model for any product.